Welcome back, guys. All right. So we did chapter one, chapter two, chapter two. Fucking hell, was it long? It was. It was like what three to four hours, maybe. So I had to cut up a lot, just to make it more bearable, you know, because I didn't want to repeat uh, the same actions over and over. Oh boy, that's not what I meant. <laughs> no, go back. Ah, shit. I, oh. Oh, it could start from here. Never mind. I... Fear of the unknown. Oh shit! The single strongest fear of mankind. Terrors from beyond the borders of knowledge. And yet, the truest horror has been in mankind's cradle since the beginning. And walks the earth amongst us now. For true evil exists not in the devil unseen, but the devil seen and unrecognized. When you meet her, you realize that tucking away the rest of the horrors to the unseen corners of the stars is a blessing. A shade of a thousand manifestations, each more horrific than the last. She serves only one whose chaotic and phantasmagorical wishes she obeys with extreme prejudice. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> well, well, well. You're the one that Lynetta calls darling and that Esther calls dearest, aren't you? Okay, so we're, we're going with the harem uh, route? What the fuck? Well, I'm happy I'm still here, though. So it means I'm alive and, <laughs> and kicking. Okay, so I can continue on dating Lynetta. <laughs> I'm way too excited about it. I, I, this dread. It's like when I first met Lynetta, but this time it's sustained. Like a state of constant, constantly <laughs> being breathless. Oh my God. Oh, the very air has become unfamiliar and alien to me saturated with infinite malevolent malevolence <laughs> it is impossible to breathe the veil has been pierced and the outer cosmos has revealed its limitless cruelty in the form of this avatar of insidious implication its very presence and uh, what? <laughs> its very presence assails my mind, turning it against itself and all that is decent. There is... At the terminal precipice, I learned that terror not only haunts, it speaks. Speak up. I'm Ooh. an older god, so I'm a little hard of hearing. Are you or are you not the human that has been dating my nieces? Oh my fucking god, that's right, they're all... They're all related. <laughs> Wait, is that bad? In other ways. Normally I'd have an... Bleh. Normally I'd have an announce of defiance in me. And I'd demand that she introduce herself first. But now I feel it in my very bones. I'm being talked down by something far beyond me. I... I... I am. Good. Oh fuck, okay. Would you like a cup of hot tea? A cold glass of water? Cold glass of water, please. You're offering me something to drink? You've been through a lot. I just wanted to ensure you're at ease for now. Oh, great, for now. No, I just meant it's odd for you to be a guest in my room and offering me something. Are you certain this is your room? Uh... <laughs> the very floor beneath my feet feels... Mercurial and unreliable, shifting nightmarishly in non Euclidean vertigo. Who who are you? Who am I? I am the obscure, the unutterable. I am the clawing chaos. When mankind pushes out into the unknown, I am the unknown that pushes back. But just like my troublesome nieces. You can just call me Auntie Nyan Nyan. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, if I was in his situation, oh, I'd be dead just by laughing. Oh no. <laughs> okay, <I'll laughs> Auntie Nyan Nyan. <laughs> oh fuck. I irk. Unlike with Lenara or Estir, I can't overcome the unnerving presence of overwhelming my senses. I feel viol violently sick. In other words, you'll never see me or my family ever again. No, I'm not gonna let that happen, that's for sure. But why? Why do you want to split us up? Well, obviously, you're messing with two. Did you know that even amongst gods, there are things that are strictly taboo? You see, whenever mankind starts exploring too far too quickly, you accelerate the end of all things. So we appear to slow things back down. We scare you back to the safety of the familiar. We whisper evils and destructive mantras to the most dangerous of your kind to ensure progress slows. Because the longer you stay afraid, the longer you live. To put it simply, once mankind isn't afraid of us anymore, Everything will come to an end. Hmm, interesting. Humans are doomed to explore, and once mankind makes the last discovery, once mankind reaches the edge of the map, you'll fall off. So if there's one thing that is certain amidst this infinite cosmos, it's that for all of time, our relationship is shepherd and livestock as we set the pace to the slaughterhouse. In that context, outer gods and humans being romantically involved is beyond taboo. <laughs> yeah, I, I can guess with this. Whoop! It's upsetting the natural order and is a conflict of interest to say the least. Now all of this I can forgive because my troublesome nieces led you astray. I know you didn't mean to participate in such a grave taboo, right? Mm, yes, <laughs> I guess I didn't know. Good, then we can work together to ensure it'll never happen again. Secretly, no. You're familiar with these books, yes? I had one made for just this occasion. No, oh. well, just made it. This looks pretty good. Do what needs to be done. Perform the banish moo ritual. Ah, banish. Oh, so we're gonna banish moo, the one that give us the book. Who's moo? Was that the sec, the first strongest solar god? What will what, what? What will it do? <laughs> moo is the bookmaker, so it will prevent ah. eldritch gods and humans from dating ever again. No more books can be made, and the entity responsible for bridging the gap between our realms will be destroyed. Our relationship will return to strictly business, in a manner of speaking. I don't want. Well, you and me. Dog? <laughs> I didn't notice that. 
<laughs> That's my name. Do not force me to remind you the grave seriousness of the situation. I promise you've never seen anything like what I can do. All right. Fuck. I'm still going to try to find a way to get to good ending. Probably there's no multiple ending. That's what I feel like. But if there is, I'm going to get I'm going to get back <laughs> with my eldritch goddesses. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I even here? I don't know. Oh, more questions. Well, what are you waiting for? Perform the ritual. Well, before I die, I have a couple of questions. So, uh, answer away. I had a question first. <laughs> what is it? How come you're so tall? The other gods I've met didn't have so much trouble standing in my bedroom. Uh, I'm not always this tall. Sometimes I'm shorter, sometimes I'm taller. I have over a thousand forms. Mm, I'd be interested to see all of them. <laughs> and this one is a two-story tall cat girl in high heels. 37 of my forms are... Oh, 37? More questions? What exactly are you? Well, when it comes to the unknown... Trying to explain something is a good way to ensure you'll never understand it. Hmm, yeah. Or fear it as well. Let me make an example. How about love? Why don't you try to explain love to me? Oh my god. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I'll let him do it. Uh, well, I guess it's like a chemical in my brain that tells me to instinctively pass on my genes. Scientifically, yes. There's more to it. To smooch them, some mere chemicals in your skull. Yeah, you s you fucked up. <laughs> Hell no. Do you see now? The more you try to explain love on a technical level, the further yeah. you get from what it actually feels like. And the more you try to understand what I am, the less you'll know. Hmm. Interesting. Well, of course, he just didn't choose the right one. To explain. You gotta explain it in a better fashion to get her on his side with more why he should be allowed to. I think there's always three questions, isn't there? Hey, I, I'm gonna get fucking slapped, am I? Ooh, close. Sometimes things are best left unexplained. Heed this advice. Sometimes the unknown is best kept at arm's length. What do you mean? Do you know where time came from? How it started? Or why it only moves forward? Oh, fuck. It's gonna... <laughs> Not the faintest clue. But you probably wouldn't have any trouble telling me what time it is, right? Even if you don't know what time actually is or where it came from. That's what I mean. Arms linked. Me and my family. Oh. Nope, I'm still gonna try it. One more. Okay. Okay, I am so sorry she forced me to make this <laughs> Oh, this is... Uh, I love this. Oh, she said... Blah! Alrighty. She said she'd spare me if I let you banish me instead. To destroy me, draw the symbol. And chant Musha... Whatever. Goodbye. I hope that love will be your black fire in total darkness. Hmm. Is there anything more? Oh my fucking god. I need John Wolf. He probably knows more about this. Oh my god. There's so many. Jeez. John Wolf. I uh, should know some of these symbols. Since he's played... Um, 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 I forgot whatever the fuck the game is called. But it was in Egypt. He was able to read a little bit. Okay. So, symbol. Ah, god damn it. 
slow down. It's gonna be there. <laughs> Close enough. Oh, wait, black fire. That's true. Oh, now it's off. Uh, I thought it changed like twice, but I think it was the same. Anyways, uh, black fire. Oh, God, I hope you're not burning or, you know, I just don't want to be too mean to an elder god and probably going to die. Oh, you didn't think I was going to turn my back on you, did you? Oh, my man. Or my woman, my thing. Great, I'm going to be cancelled because somebody, some, I mispronounced their gender. <laughs> Literally an elder god, so I don't know. You didn't think I was going to turn my back on you, did you? You can beat her together. There's still hope for you. For your love. Oh, my man! <laughs> Draw the symbol instead. Wearing your ritual amulet, chant Magun. Nyan liatropap ya. I think I got it right. <laughs> Is there any more? Ooh. Uh, I, I should read more, but I'm going to need to read them once at a time. Holy fuck. Okay, so this makes more sense why there was so much. <sighs> I really want to do the good end, but I, I feel like I should do that at the end. <laughs> I'm gonna have I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna do this first. Okay. Uh anything else? No. Uh yeah, for this. So you are a uh, god fucking damn it. Alright, let's restart. So you are as wise as you are lecherous. That is good. But why Aren't you speaking? I expected you to be an insolent, uncompromising philanderer. You can imagine my disappointment to have found you actually quite agreeable. Well, don't worry, because this is just my fucking first run. So you better be prepared for the second! Then all is settled. The bridge between our realms is severed for good. Can I just go home now? This may look like your room. But I promise that you've traveled a long way from home. Hmm, yay. Far enough so that you will find it quite impossible to return. You absolute fucking bitch. Wait, hold on. I did the spell. I'm no I'm no danger to you anymore. I know that very well. You've just seen the precipice of the abyss and flinched. There's nothing left of you to be concerned with. Okay. However, that banishment ritual made it so neither you nor I can travel to the realm of man ever again. Oh, what the fuck? So we're together? Hmm? 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 Just a precaution. Call me thorough. Mm. You will stay here where I can keep my eye on you. Where any romantic escapades <laughs> will not endanger us all. Are you sure? Because you're going to be stuck with me, so... Mm -hmm. But... But I... Rarely do I bother myself with the affairs of humans. But it was a smooch, wasn't it? <laughs> a treasure for which you traded your life how many times? A lot. Curious. Whoa! Allow me. Is this sufficient? That's all you need to smooch me, right? Three hearts and a big glowing button. <laughs> What the fuck? I am well versed in human courtship, but am curious as to what made my nieces bicker over you so incessantly. <laughs> you don't pose a threat. Now then, come to me, human. If you don't mind smooching an old cat like me. Well, hey, if everyone wanted to smooch, um, fuck, what was her name? The the big tall lady from uh, Resident Evil Eight. I, I don't think I do mind. I don't mind at all. Oh, maybe, maybe I do mind, man. <laughs> maybe I do mind. <laughs> Take me back, please. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> this is like too happy. Either, yeah, neither everyone else. 
All right. Bitch, you think I'm done? I'm coming back. I'm fucking coming back. Together forever. The wrong way. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do all of that again. Oh. oh, fuck, why? <laughs> yes, perform, but I had a question first. Oh, whew, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so now that we know the bad ending, so I don't need to cry anymore, <laughs> I can do the good ending. Uh, oh, wait, fuck, I forgot about the lights. Jesus Christ, I would have been dead. Uh, did I? Okay. All right. My boy's here. It's gonna be there. Aha! Okay. Where are you, boy? Wearing your ritual amulet. Chant. Ritual amulet. Ah, free helvet, fan. You fucking. Bliat cunt. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay. Your ritual amulet. Chant. For this dog, you may be oh, hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. hey, what did he say? No, 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 wait, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> you bitch. How dare you do that? I ain't letting. <sighs> okay, amulet. Close. Ah, no, 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 no. Return. Turtle. Turtle, turtle. Ew, ew. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Give me my turtle. Actually, it's gonna do anything if I do that. Okay, I already returned it. What? Oh, shit. That's right. Sorry about that. Looking for this dog? Oh yes. You may be capable of pulling a fast one on my nieces, but nothing escapes my gaze. Oh boy, this is gonna be a little harder than I thought. But this is just making it better for me. It's even funner. I think you'll find it quite impossible to Oh you bitch! No! <laughs> without this amulet. Well you said this amulet, there must be something else. Now, my stray sheep. It's time I shepherd you back in line. But first. Oh, what? Yo, what? Ah, fuck. Uh. Oh, oh shit, now it's health. Oh. Oh, fuck. Ah, shit, okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna die so many times. Uh oh okay didn't work yeah so what next go if holes appear in your hand oh you've been cursed by porosity it looks like this yeah the holes it must be multiply you are no more oh wear the mask and stand in front of the mirror mask in front of the mirror oh shit I, I that's not what I meant to do. Okay, what else? Uh, in front of the mirror, chant. Can, can you, can you, you fucking, there. Take my deal, dog. No, I will not. It's an insufficient deal. Do you believe your mind is still Ooh. on your side? Uh, somewhat. Do you still trust it? We'll see who it sides with soon. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Countervale Ichurus Swarm. A sudden plague of insects appearing means it's likely she is attacking with a Ichurus Swarm. Immediately light red fire candles. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Hey, what the fuck? Oh shit! Red fire candles to distract them temporarily. Grab your ritual knife. A single bite will cause paralysis and painful, agonizing death. The ritual knife are not for self-defense. Chant. 
Well, how do I... What the fuck? Okay, so knife. But how do I do this? Red fire. Well, this is temporary, so I guess I need to chant this in self-defense. <laughs> Wrong. Don't lose your concentration now. What did it say? Now Wrong countervail. Oh, wait. No. Merely light red fire candles to distract them temporarily. Oh, you are experiencing technical difficulties. Something terrible has happened. I don't know, but uh, I don't think I should uh, touch it. Oh, God. A wrong counter spell. I don't know. A sudden plague of Shmeres immediately light red fire. Okay, so this is probably the wrong. Ah, oh, that's what it meant. If light is go out, it won't turn on. You are cursed by universe terror. There is no such thing as an innocent sound of shape and sh Oh, God. Such a thing as an innocent sound. Ah, okay, I see. Oh. If you feel burning sensation, no, it's not that. If you hear something strange that is getting louder with time, not just your imagination, it can kill you, go outside. It can kill you. Go outside. If you can see the source of the strange noises, cast this counter spell. Open it. Oh. Well, I'm definitely bad at this. Well, that's what I'm... Whoops. Go outside. If you could see... The wrong counter evil. Oh my god. Counter evil written on the walls. You hear suspicious voices calling you out to check your window. Okay, no. That's not really it. Oh, shadows whispering malicious intent. Uh, if you sometimes upset, do not go outside no matter what you hear. Do not open the door for it. Well, yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. If you hear scratching glass. Oh my god, I have no fucking idea what I need to do. No, that's good. Getting turned invisible while you move. You're being spirited away. Routinely check that your doors are still locked. Counter evil taker. Well, anyways, I know I'm dead. So, oh fuck, I'm gonna need to restart because I have no fucking idea what I need to do. Bad end. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh shit, okay, I was like, what the fuck is this? Oh my god, need to do all this? Give me mask. So, am I doing something wrong? Is it all in order, or is it just me? That outside your window. Okay, what? Oh, that door, that fucking door knock. That's the horrible one. Okay, so did I do, do wrong? What the fuck am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> ah, fucking damn it. You're unable to speak or perform? Nope. Uh, hear scratches? Check your reflections? Nope. Okay, this is the writing. This is the writing. Uh, no writing on you. One. You fucking bitch. Two. 
three. No, no. Ah! What am I supposed to do? Thousands of tears later. No, wrong symbol. Looking for this. Shadows. Yeah, yeah. There is no escape. There you go. Was that too? Nope, and suffering is born. If you hear something strange that is getting louder, nope, that's not it. If you hear suspicious voices and calling out to check your window. Oh, no, that's fine. I already already took the turtle. Hey hey. Sounds of scratching glass. Oops. Do not make eye contact or touch the mirror in any way. Retreat into your bedroom. I have to check the mirror. Okay, that's... Mirror reveals its cruelty. Hmm, I expected those to be a challenge. Ooh. What's that outside your window? If you're unable to speak, no. No. Okay. Ah, it only does it once. Not just your imagination, no, that's it. It's a burning sensation. I've never seen that one. I guess this is just a stop.
Do not touch your chalkboard. There we go. What the fuck? These horrors becoming too challenging for you to withstand? I don't understand why it worked now. Whatever, fuck you. The earth while man was still rocking in its cradle. I know not only what scares you, but what terrified every single one of your ancestors. There we go. Everything off. Well, no, everything on. Lights, no touch. This is the longest and most racking one because it takes so much time for it to react. <gasps> When are you gonna come out? Come on, come on, come on. Ah, shit. Here's an eye opener for you. Precipital Wraith appears. Ah, there you go. There it is. Thank God it doesn't pick up my mic because uh, I'd be dead. I'm coming for your soul. Nope, that that's uh, vampire speak. I've come for your blood. Surrendered yet, dog? No. I'm impressed. And you better be, because I'm persistent as fuck. Your voice won't be heard again. Yeah. Okay, everything off. Now I need to find the screaming. If you hear something strange, it's getting louder. Okay, that's perfect. You survived all that. Just human. <sighs> yep. You better fucking believe it. In such a short time. Becoming... Becoming what? I can't believe it. You're no average human. You better fucking believe it, because I'm going to go all the way for Lynetta, okay, bitch? I ain't fucking giving up. But you still can't escape me. Oh, but I will. She must be running out of tricks by now. The True. Oh! <laughs> the flying chaos is upon you. Hold fast and prepare yourself, doll. I've lasted this long. I'm not stopping now. I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> then you lack imagination. Oh God, the music's changed. Oh, porous. Oh god, this is gonna be a fucking plus a full big maniac of everything. No, I just got out. There, brain. Sounds of scratching glass. It is check, do not touch, fuck off, chant, mirror, 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 mirror on the wall. How can you fuck me? All overall. No! Ugh. No move! 
We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. <laughs> Hello, Wraith. Uh, could you come by a little bit quicker? Because I don't have enough time for this. I want to end this. I want to get the good ending, you fucking bitch. Move along. Go faster. What are you? Fucking 80 years old. You're floating. Go. Fuck you. <laughs> Okay. Still doing the noise. Okay. Yeah, what was it? The sign. Uh, uh, nope, that's not it. What? Ah, that's right. It's the light bulb. God damn it. Forgot it's three times. My heart is beating. <laughs> Outside your window. Anyways, it seems like I can't talk. No, that's not it. Off. Okay, there you go. Something strange. Is it? S nope, that's not it. What's going on in there? there you go. Very <sighs> I panicked a little bit. <laughs> I panicked so bad. Oh, but I will be the first to uh, keep on dreaming, bitch. supposed to do well it's obviously the this one I don't know exactly what I did for it to be successful the first time. Ah, there you go. I think I need to wash off. That's the thing. There you go. I don't know, but I know it's my perseverance. And oh, I'm so happy about it. Has been going on. You seemed more and more resolved. Actually, that's true. I have been more resolved. <laughs> it's not possible. There's no emotion stronger than fear, and no fear more powerful than fear of the unknown. Well, the, my fear is uh, not meeting Lenetta again, so that's my resolve. That's not true. Humans don't fear the unknown. Never, never have. <laughs> if you think we do, you haven't been paying attention. Even sailors, the most superstitious humans to ever walk the earth, set sail to the edge of a world where they were sure was flat and inhabited by sea monsters. We've been inventors, explorers, astronauts. Hell, we take holidays to place, places we've never been for fun. You're not even stuttering anymore. Why aren't you cowering before me? Because you were wrong, Auntie Nyan Nyan. <laughs> There's one emotion stronger than fear. There's one feeling that every living thing knows, and it's very strong. And it's way stronger than fear. It can't be. It's love. You took the words out of my mouth, <laughs> Aunt Nyan Nyan. <laughs> no, fool, it's lust. Nah, you bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> you motherfucker. You think the male praying mantis knows fear? Well, it's getting <laughs> getting some hell, nah. Ridiculous. You're saying your lust is keeping you from being scared of me? <laughs> okay, I see. Eh, eh, ever heard of uh, the suspension bridge effect? They say when two people face danger together, they fall in love. Not when one of them is the danger. Mm, not necessarily. Uh, what it's called? I uh, forgot the... Cla not claustrophobic thing. Fuck, what is it called? People that fall in love with their captors. Stockholm Syndrome! <laughs> Shut up, Google! You, don't you understand the cruel indifference of the infinite cosmos? Don't care. Your world, your reality, everything you know and love, it's all meaningless and could vanish in an instant. Even as we speak, your sun spins around the precipice of terminal oblivion. Haha, <laughs> idiot. The only thing that the sun spins around is the Earth and every human on it. <laughs> and that's not all. There's more you don't realize. You really think I'm meaningless because I'm human, right? You think I'm the lowest of the low, an insignificant speck not worth of any attention. And yet here I am in your dream. <laughs> I've got that right, don't I, Auntie Nyan Nyan? <laughs> if I'm here with you, it's because you're dreaming about me. It means I'm in your head just as much as you're in mine. I think the truth is that you're terrified of me. God damn. Well, that's true, because I have been fucking everything up. You're terrified of the speed at which I'm meeting the unknown and plan planting a big wet one on it. I'm terrifying enough to have invaded your dreams. After all, right? You've come face to face with the greatest threat to your power, and nothing you can throw at him can stop him. And after all this, after meeting Lynetta, serving Estir's whims, and being subjected to the worst you have to offer... I gotta say, it was all pretty fun. Now tell me, does this sound like it's my nightmare, or is it this yours? It's my win, Auntie Nyan Nyan. <laughs> and after all this, after meeting Lena, serving Estir's whims, and being subjected to the worst you have to offer. Lene! You, you think you can turn the tables on me? Hell yeah, because this is what it looks like. I really have, there you go! You're the second most powerful god... And you fear me. It's only a matter of time before I date every single god you know. I'm going to leap into the great unknown cosmos and smooch that too. <laughs> Starting with you. <laughs> Pucker up, Auntie Nyan Nyan. You've earned it. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> God damn! A human, too lustful to fear anything. <laughs> I guess it does. What horror! As soon as any of us dreams again, she undoubtedly will return to haunt our hearts once more. Oh, I'm never getting a good night's sleep with him on the loose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a fun one. Auntie Nyan Nyan. <laughs> oh my god. This fucking game. Oh. Pay respect. <laughs> Dedicated to my brilliant wife, Caroline Hunter. You may make me real sucker for love. <laughs> Created by Akabaka. Damn. Vocalist Chisa. Oh, there's our little kitsch, kiss. Kitsch! <laughs> Pretend you've never heard that. Oh. Michaela Laws. Esther Kelly Mills. 
Miente le top, Lenny Manella. Oh my god, this game. Fuck, was this fun. I've never played a dating sim, but holy shit. Oh, and you! Special thanks. Oh, man. This was fun. This was really fun. I love this. Oh. I don't know what to say. First dating sim I've ever played. That's a fucking banger as this one. Hopefully they make more of this. It feels like it. Obviously from the trailer it seems like there's a couple more gods missing. Are they gonna do the whole uh... Wait, how many did she say? There was 33? 33 gods? Holy shit. <laughs> Are they gonna continue to all that? Okay, is that it? I don't know, I'm just waiting. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. All I have to do. Wow. True ending achieved. Fuck, man. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, why can't I go back? God damn! Ugh! Well, with this, uh... This is the end. Hope, hope you liked uh, me playing it. And hope you uh, enjoyed it too. Because, uh, fuck. I sure did. And I hope... I hope uh, they make more. Because I'll be playing it. Sucker for love. First date. Exactly. If it says first date, there's gotta be a second and a third. We gotta continue this fucking game. Let's go! Oh, man. I really enjoyed it. I don't know how to end this. I I'm I'm just too happy right now. <laughs> well. Oh, it's visitive. Alright, this one per <laughs> this one is me totally. My life for Lynetta. I've only had Lynetta a day and a half. But if anything happens to her, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. Oh my god. Oh, that is so me. I, I just I just want Lynetta, man. I, give me more, Lynetta, man. <laughs> That's all I want. Oh, boy. Mm, I'll, I'll save these for later. <laughs> I'm just spacing out right now. Anyways, goodbye and see you on some uh, of the videos that I make. Hopefully you watch them so I can continue making some. With that, I'll see you later. Bye.